If you are searching how to expand root partition of your Linux system in dual boot windows and Linux operating system, this video is for you. In this video, I will use my two PC. The both PC have dual boot. So let's get started. So this is my desktop which I have Windows and Linux elementary OS. And this is my laptop with Windows and Kali Linux system. At first, you have to start your Windows OS. Okay. Opening my computer and I have two drive. C drive is my Windows drive and drive E. Linux drives are not showing here. So go to desktop and right click on this PC and select manage if manage option does not show here your icon must be shortcut so right click on the desktop select personalize and go to theme desktop icon setting and check the computer icon and apply after that right click on this pc and select manage now go to disk management. Now you can see my disk partition. This is my C drive. This is my E drive. And this is my Linux system. I choose this option when I install Linux. So it has installed all in one partition. If you created partition manually, it will look like this. This is my laptop with my Kali Linux system. This is my C drive of Windows. This is my root partition of Kali Linux. If you don't know which is your root partition, I will show you. Watch till end. This is for temp and swap partition. And this is home partition. So these five partitions are the part of my Kali Linux system. Do not expand or shrink your Kali Linux system from here. It will break your Linux. So just follow me. I am in my desktop and I want to shrink some space from C drive to add Linux system. You can also shrink E drive and add to your Linux system. Right click on the drive and select shrink volume. Now type the amount of space to shrink for the root and click shrink. Unlocated space will create here. Now unlocated space must move here so you can add space to your root but in windows partition manager we have some limitation so you need to download a disk partition manager you can download from the description after download install it and run it select e drive and click resize or move and drag this drive to left you can see unlocated space moved here. Now press OK. And execute this operation and click apply. Click finish and close all. After that you will see unlocated space moved near Linux system. Now restart your PC and open your Linux operating system. Now go to application and search for gparted. In some Linux operating system, gparted not comes with pre-install. Don't worry, just keep watching. But in Kali Linux, gparted application comes with operating system. Open it from application list or type gparted in terminal to run it. Back to my desktop. All you have to do insert your Linux operating system CD or bootable pen drive. After that boot into it. And select try Linux without install. Ok. Now you will see gparted application here. Run it. So this is the unlocated space which we have created in Windows and this is our Linux system. Now right click on Linux partition and click resize or move. 
then fill this space and click resize okay now click this tick icon and apply after that close all and restart to your linux system you will see the change in kali linux under mount point this slash symbol indicates this partition is root partition so in same process you have to create unlocated space here then merge it as shown in this video thank you for watching if this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe to get more videos thank you